Welcome back to Brett's Hang, I'm Brett Barnett. Today's episode is all about cymbal placement. Now, we all know that the bass drum, snare, hi-hat, and kick pedal need to be the most comfortable things on your entire kit because that's what's driving the band. The next thing that needs to be extremely comfortable is your cymbal placement. Now, I've, I've worked with plenty of drummers and they're all, I don't wanna say picky, but we're all picky to a certain degree. You know, can you, can you lower this an inch? Can you raise it a half inch? Can you spin it three quarters of an inch? I've heard it all. And it's because that spot makes them feel comfortable when they play. Now, everybody has that spot. Whether you like it or not, you're that guy. And using racks, quite honestly, it's unfair. Because you can pretty much put a cymbal anywhere and however you want it with a rack. But for those of you that don't like racks, you're using cymbal stands. And when you want to add a cymbal, you pay a little bit of a price. You know, you're competing with other cymbal stands, so you take up a lot more floor space. It's difficult to get it positioned sometimes. It weighs a lot more, and it takes more time to set up. Now, why make our job any more difficult than it has to be? We're already the biggest member in the band. Well, we've got a few cymbal add-on accessories that I'm gonna show you how you can use to your kit to help minimize the amount of time, minimize the amount of weight, minimize the amount of space used on the floor, and you can still get your job done exactly how you want it, feeling comfortable, and place the symbol where you need it to be. So why did you make the choice to change over to stands? Because that particular setup was for, you know, two kick drums, it was, it was a metal kind of like, you know, Lars Ulrich, Neil Peart kind of Whoa! set up, you know? And, and, and I just kind of wanted to get down to more of a tighter, cleaner, you know, more beat, simple setup, you know? Because it, cause it, I just want, it feels, it's a different kind of feel, you know? It's like, you know, when you're closer in and everything's right up on here, like, you can just kind of get into grooves better than when it's like, you're like, kind of like, whoa everything's, you know what I mean? Right. So that's that's more, of, that's the reason why I just kind of, just, you know, I want to switch it up. I want to mount this splash cymbal in this region right here, but I don't want to get another cymbal stand. I don't want to add more weight than I have to to my hardware bag. I don't want to take up more floor space, and I definitely don't want to spend that much more money. What do I do? This is the SC CLBAC. It's an 18 inch boom arm, and with a standard tilter, and it's got two adjustment mechanisms. One, it holds a 12.7 millimeter um, diameter eye bolt, which allows you 360 degrees rotation. And then also another ratchet that you can actually has 360 degrees rotation as well. So let's say I don't want to mount the splash in between my 10 and 12 inch tom. I want to mount it between the hi-hat and the 10 inch tom. Well, the boom arm could be too long. I don't want a lot of excess boom arm hanging out the back. So I choose to go with the shorter version of the boom arm. This is the SC CMBAC. It has the exact same specs as the larger, the same tilter, the same ratchet function. It just has a 12 inch boom arm instead of an 18 inch boom arm. Okay, so I wanna add this china to this area right here, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy another cymbal stand. This is the SC GCA BT. It's a boom arm that will allow you to mount another symbol directly off of a symbol stand. Here it has an adjustable ratchet assembly clamp with a 12.7 millimeter eye bolt. It can move 360 degrees, can allow you to position this however you would like. It comes with the brake tilter. Now, a lot of the, uh, the boom arms that are out there are ratchet style, they're geared. So there's teeth inside the, inside the tilter that kind of limit you on the exact angle that you want it to be at. So it gets to be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes when you're trying to angle your symbol correctly. This allows you to get whatever angle you want because there are no gears. This is the SCCLBRA. And it's a ratchet assembly, a dual ratchet assembly with an 18 inch boom rod. And it allows you to mount this boom rod directly to an existing boom arm. Because I was able to utilize the extra real estate on this boom arm, I was able to get the distance and still maintain the height for this symbol to be equal in height to this symbol. It has a dual ratchet adjustment 
that allows you to get 360 degree rotation on both sides. And then one right here for the actual boom arm. Here's the same product, but with a shorter boom arm. Instead of having an 18 inch boom arm, it's got a 12 inch boom arm. This is the CMBRA. When you need to mount a splash to a cymbal stand and you don't have a lot of extra room to move the boom in and out, the SCCLAC is a great splash arm for that. It's a dual ratchet assembly that has a C-clamp to connect to the downstem of a cymbal, cymbal stand. The ratchet assembly has 360 degree movement and the L-arm has a 360 degree movement. The eye bolt will accept an L-arm with a diameter of 9.5 millimeter to 12.7 millimeter. It's great for under the radar cymbal mounting. This is the SCCLRA. It's very similar to the other splash arm, but only it mounts to a rod. I get bored of attaching a cymbals in traditional manners. Here's the SCDCT BT. This little apparatus allows you to mount a cymbal or a splash to an existing boom arm. If you choose to do it this way, you're limited to only being at the end. But if you turn it 90 degrees, you can slide it up and as far up on the boom arm as you like. If you don't like the tilter going this direction, just left and right, you can actually move it. So this will swivel all the way around, you can actually remove this entire piece. So now if you want, the tilter can move front and back. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. You know, there are a ton of different ways for you to achieve your setup. I just showed you a few different tools that we have available to you so that you can get your setup the way you want it. See you next time.